Today on FPV 101, we're going to talk about doing different types of rolls. Executing a roll is a lot like doing a flip, but instead of using your pitch axis, you'll be using the lateral roll axis. Stick inputs to the left will result in a leftward roll, whereas stick inputs to the right, you guessed it, a right roll. Just like flips, you're going to want to gain a lot of altitude when practicing this maneuver. That way you have plenty of room for error. To do this trick in its most basic form, you're going to punch throttle, then drop it down to zero before rolling. Throttle up, drop throttle, roll left. Now the other way this time. Throttle up, drop throttle, roll right. Where rolling becomes more difficult is in practicing holding the horizon line. You'll notice that when I input roll alone, that the angle of view doesn't remain level, and that the sky dips out of view when the drone is inverted. In order to hold the horizon line throughout this maneuver, you'll have to learn what's called a cross-coordinated roll. Cross-coordinated rolls make use of both roll and yaw, but in opposite directions. Say we want to execute a cross-coordinated roll to the left. We're going to speed up and drop the throttle just like before. But this time, when we roll left, we're also going to simultaneously yaw right. Now rolling to the right. Speed up, drop throttle, roll right while yawing left. You'll see when compared to roll alone what a huge difference that cross coordination makes. Practice rolling in both directions and at varied speeds until you master leveling out to the horizon line. If you want your rolls to be quicker at full stick deflection, then you can always increase your rates, but be careful when practicing cross coordinated rolls that you don't have a wild difference between your yaw and roll rates. The closer these rates are to matching each other, the easier it will be to develop muscle memory for smooth cross coordinated rolls. 